Things in our gay college house that just make sense. Our gay flag stand on a printout of Freddie Mercury. The gay skeleton couple in our living room. They have a long distance thing going on, but I think they're gonna U-Haul soon. That one's the weeb. These cute giraffes in our dining room. I like the one that's picking its nose. The sign we made for a pillow fort that's now taped to my door. The skeleton above our sink that's been impaled by the lesbians. Our alien robot son, Phyllis, rest in peace, he deflated this year. This picture of Mormon Jesus we hung above our gay flag. You know why it's not hung up straight. My roommate's cute rat babies and my dog. Slow down my Lamborghini for There's no structure to this video, I just really want to tell you something toxic that straight girls did to me in high school, so. So like my junior year, I had a friend group that was just primarily straight girls, and one night we had a movie night, and they didn't know what they wanted to watch, so I suggested The Miseducation of Cameron Post, and when they asked what it was about, I told them, and they said this, this is exactly what they said. Ooh, I mean, you know we support you, but we can't watch that because we're not like that, and we just won't find it interesting, and we just, we can't watch something gay because the rest of us are straight. That's, I, I'm not even joking. That's exactly what they said to me. So I was like, all right, what do you guys want to watch? You know what we watched? A straight ass Nicholas Sparks movie. So when I jokingly said that I don't want to watch it because I'm gay and it's straight and I won't find it interesting, they told me that I was being extremely unfair and that I make everything gay. I made movie night gay. So I just encountered a woman dying inside and it was the funniest thing I've seen in a while. I'm just in the lobby waiting for my Uber Eats to get here. This woman comes out of the elevator and once we make eye contact, she goes from friendly to oh hello type of eye contact. Whatever. She tries to walk past me like very sexy to see if I'll be interested. <laughs> this poor woman. The way that our lobby works is it's got two doors and the one on the right is always locked so only the one on the left opens. <laughs> she was walking with such confidence. Her body slammed into the locked door and she just goes. <laughs> she looked so embarrassed I felt so bad. Okay so last night I was talking to my boyfriend and we were having a conversation about like what would happen if there was a war between gay people and straight people. Like, I genuinely wonder who would win. I feel like we obviously know that, like, all the straight people would have guns. But I also feel like lesbians are so powerful. Oh. Well. Sorry to hear that. Um, you may not realize this, but what you actually just said to me was, you grew up in a heteronormative society where you were socialized to associate whatever subjectively feminine traits you see in me with being a woman. And as a gay man, you're only attracted to men. So by rejecting me on the basis that you're only attracted to masculine men, what you're saying is that subconsciously, you don't see me as a man. That's what you're saying. No, 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 you already said it now. Can't change what you said. Um, that's called internalized misogyny that you're projecting in the form of fem shaming. Um, word of advice, you should probably stay single because hypocrisy is not attractive. Are you transgender? Because I'm a Christian mama and I wanna let you know how things would go down if you lived in my house. First of all, you would be allowed to cut your hair however you needed to. Second, I would use your proper pronouns and the name that you choose to go by. Third, we would go shopping because I'm guessing if your haircut didn't fit you, that you need some new clothes too. Fourth, we would also redo your room so that you could be in your little safe space and feel like you belonged in there. Sixth, we would get you a doctor and a therapist that both specialized in gender dysphoria so that you could feel as peaceful as possible. You should be supported.
You should be loved unconditionally. You are valid. And just know that somebody in this big old world loves you. It's me. You're not a real man. Okay, so what's a real man? A real man has a pee pee. So you're defined by your pee pee? Uh, no. So you're not a real man either. Their wedding was gonna be canceled due to coronavirus, so Riley and Amanda did what any New Yorker in love would do, had it on the sidewalk. Their friend officiated from his fourth floor apartment window. They said it was the best day of their lives. It's totally okay that you work costume. I did, I'm a straight person. <laughs> hey, sorry. <I'm> <laughs> So, after I came out as trans, shortly after that, my daughter went to China with my ex-in-laws to live with her grandma and grandpa while me and my ex were separating and filing for divorce. Now, during this time, I would FaceTime her and she would call me Baba on video chat, which I was completely content with her calling me Baba and by a male technical pronoun because that's my baby girl. She can never do wrong in my book. Now, there was a brief period of time after she came back from China that I did not see her for about two months. Now, little to my knowledge, my ex was doing something. Now, my ex brought my daughter over to see me after two months, and legitimately, I opened the door and she yells, Mommy! My ex actually, over two months, was showing her photos of me and telling her, That's your mommy. That's your mommy. And I was completely surprised that she actually did that. And it was super sweet of her. So, like, not to be gay, but I don't think jokes like that are funny. What? I don't know. Like, that's offensive to gay people. And, like, I know someone who's gay. Oh, no. So, so actually, I'm... I just assumed you were, like, also... What? I don't get it. Let me just spit out some facts for y'all. Trans men's brains look like cis men's brains. Trans women's brains look like cis women's brains. Gender fluid non-binary brains look like complete black holes because we are secretly God sent here to devour your world. Your days are numbered and we are only keeping the cute ones. We grew up in the same small town and even went to the same high school, but we never met. In 2009, we finally met at a mutual friend's party and reconnected over Facebook a year later. After we got together, we became inseparable. We took a trip to New York City, got a puppy, and over the next four years, we celebrated birthdays, holidays, graduations, and other milestones. But then things began to get rocky and we broke up. But four months later, we got back together and out of nowhere, I proposed to PJ on Christmas day. And a few months after that, on my birthday, PJ proposed to me. We both said yes. In 2015, we bought an old house and began fixing it up together and even got married in the living room surrounded by family and friends. We started an Instagram account called The Property Lovers to document the renovation of our house. In 2016, we bought back Thomas's childhood home. Shortly after, we were approached by a production company about filming a potential show for HGTV. A pilot was greenlit, we began filming the renovation, and in the summer of 2017, Down to the Studs premiered on HGTV. It didn't get picked up for a series, so we spent the next two years traveling and meeting some amazing people. We always knew we wanted kids, and in the summer of 2019, we became foster parents to a sibling group of three, ages four, two and a half, and 18 months. These days, we're teaching ABCs and changing diapers, all while still living in the same small town. Are you a lesbian? Well, yes. more importantly, are you a top? Because also, yes. From everything that I'm trying to learn here on TikTok, apparently y'all are some badasses. And um, I'm trying to move. And this is a lot. Do you need and some so help, sweetie? I am a Christian mother. And in case you didn't know, I've been adopting some LGBTQ kids here on TikTok. And I need me a pack of tops pack to come over tops. here pack and tops. help me pack. And we'll listen to good music. I got some good music. Drinks, Absolutely. And laugh. Come on, mama needs ya. I mean, I guess bottoms could come too. Always invited. Same with, same with you switches. I'm just thinking, who would I wanna hang out with right now? You. I got you. So, um, but so um, I just wanted to thank this mother and say that more Christian mothers should aspire yeah, to be like so her, easily. be accepting, You're and amazing. you are yeah, amazing. Um, You're accepted by me and by God. All love, thank so you, ma'am. Have a great day. I'm straight. I'm, I'm straight. Why would I have a problem with... So 
like I know you're wearing leggings right now, but hypothetically, would your jeans be cuffed? Yeah, one time I saw Hailey Kiyoko live, like front row. I have a lot of videos from it. Do you want to do you want to see those or no? So I noticed your acrylic nails. Like, is that just cause like just cause like you're you're single or um?